Good evening, everyone. I'd like to get started. My name is my name is Virginia Moore. I'm the supervisor of guidance. We'd like to begin the evening with the Pledge of Allegiance by Matt Renzulli. If you would please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I would like to introduce Mr. Frank Markowick, our principal. Thank you, Mrs. Moore. And uh, this is a very special night for all of us. And uh, we're very proud of the students that we have here that we're going to honor tonight. But we're also very proud of the people who support us in the community, uh, whether it be our, our business affiliates, our business partners, uh, it, uh, interested residents, uh, former students, alumni, all people that want to support our programs and give our students that little extra incentive uh, for doing well uh, in a number of particular areas. So we're very proud tonight uh, to be here. It's a special night. And that I would really like to thank Mrs. Marr because she puts this together right from the very uh, beginning with the Scholarship and Honors Board, uh, confirms every person, every scholarship, where every student sits, and it's meticulous. And the night should go very well. We're going to try to do this in under two hours, but but again, I'd like to thank Mrs. Marr right now. Uh, joining us tonight uh, from the central office will be uh, Mr. Frank Mobilio, the director of high schools. Frank, are you? Okay, he will be joining us tonight. I promise. Okay. Uh, unable to be with us tonight is uh, Mrs. Jane Hutchinson, uh, the board president. Uh, she is ill tonight, uh, but I would like to introduce uh, a former Wayne Hills parent uh, who was very, very big in many areas in, in our booster club, uh, now a board of education member, uh, Mrs. Joan Walsh. Thank you, Joan. Our department chairs, who play a very big role uh, in academics, in, in the courses, uh, in hiring and evaluating the teachers, and uh, really making one of our, program, uh, our programs one of the uh, top in New Jersey. And I'd like to just quickly uh, introduce the department chairs who are here tonight uh, in mathematics, and Mrs. Dawn Auerbach. They may not be in sight. Dr. Anthony Defina, science, they're, they're back there. In applied technology, uh, Ms. Judith Faley, Ms. Faley, she's back there. World studies, which also incorporates world language, uh, Mr. Ben Guico. Our language arts chair, uh, Mrs. Angela Mancinelli. In health, physical education, fine and performing arts, uh, Ms. Maureen Weir. I'd like to also uh, congratulate her. Uh, she will be in the fall uh, taking a position of vice, uh, one of the vice principal positions uh, in our building. So congratulations, Ms. Weir. Okay. Okay. The Scholarship and Honors Board puts this together, goes through perhaps for Valley and Hills thousands of applications, uh, works with all the contributors, uh, defining and narrowing the scope of some of the scholarships, and then selecting the students that are the honorees tonight. Uh, one of the people that has been very involved and you'll see him up here tonight because he is a stand-in for community people that don't make it. 
but his organizational skills have really pulled us together both in hills and in valley. And I'd like to thank right now Mr. Edward Zambrano. Okay. Also on the board uh, are, and I don't think Mr. Fishbane is here, but Mr. Daniel Fishbane, uh, one of our guidance counselors, uh, Mrs. Cynthia Gorkowski, who is here tonight. We thank her. Um, the Dean of Students uh, from Wayne Valley High School, Mrs. Karen Gross. Uh, the Reverend David Harwood. Uh, retired principal and husband of Mrs. Mayetta in the guidance office, Mr. Charles Mayetta. The Reverend Karen Ratcliffe. Uh, one of the vice principals from Wayne Valley, Mr. Michael Ruick. Mrs. Beth Seldeen. And another person who's active in our school community, both in the band and the PTO, and is our PTO treasurer, uh, Mrs. Sue Sikorsky. Uh, there will be a number of staff mem members giving awards uh, for academics, uh, and uh, you will be able to see them tonight, and they will present. Uh, so we do thank all of them for coming as well. Uh, we'll now begin our community scholarships, and I would like to begin by uh, introducing uh, from our BAE systems, our business partners, uh, Mr. Peter Howard. Okay, and we're going to have Mr. Ed DeYoung. Okay, Mr. DeYoung. Okay, thank you. Okay. Good evening. Uh, I'm glad to be here tonight. Um, first, from BA Systems, I'd like to express uh, congratulations to the entire class of Wayne Hills, the entire graduating class, but especially to the young women and young men that sit up here on the stage tonight. Uh, we have two scholarships that uh, we're going to present to two individuals, a male and a female, tonight. And the first recipient of the BA System Scholarship is Thomas Zoon. <laughs> Yoon, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yoon. Okay. The second recipient, a female uh, uh, recipient, is Miss Ashley Beasley. Thank you, Mr. DeYoung. Uh, the Barry Goldstein Memorial Scholarship will be presented by uh, Mrs. Christina Kindler. Good evening. My name is Christina Kindler, and I had the privilege of being Barry's teacher. In 1999, Barry Goldstein joined the special education classes here at Wayne Hills High School. Her new classmates soon became friends, and she loved being a part of Wayne Hills. In 2004, Barry's medical problems forced her to leave school. Then, in April 2005, just three weeks after her 19th birthday, Barry passed away. Because she was so happy here at Wayne Hills and wishing to keep her memory alive, her parents, Herb and Louis Goldstein, chose to create the Barry Goldstein Memorial Scholarship. This $2,000 scholarship is awarded each year to a Wayne Hills senior. I am pleased to announce this year's recipient of the Barry Goldstein Memorial Scholarship, Laura Amatuli. The Goldsteins are sorry they could not be here this evening, but have asked me to extend their congratulations to Laura and to all the 2008 graduates.
Thank you, Mrs. Kindler. The Bethany Korean Community Scholarship will be presented by Dr. E. Young Lee. Good evening. On behalf of uh, Korean Congregation of Bethany Church in New, uh, Wayne, it's my honor to present an award to a very promising young person named Victoria Leach. Thank you, Dr. Lee. The BP Lubricants USA Incorporated scholarship will be presented by Mr. Edward Zimbrano. On behalf of BP Lubricants USA Incorporated, this year's scholarships are presented to Sheena Mehta and Rebecca Olis. Childhood Cancer Society Scholarship Fund will present an award, and Mr. Ryan Ward will make the presentation. Good evening. On behalf of Tommy Head and his organization, the Childhood Cancer Society, I am proud to present this award to my longtime friend and classmate, Maggie Rogers. Thank you, Ryan. Caldwell Bankers Associates of Wayne, presented by Mrs. Patty Tehan. Good evening, everyone. I want to congratulate all the graduating students and their wonderful, supportive parents. My name is Patty Tehan. I manage the Caldwell Banker Wayne office and we participate in two annual scholarships a year, one for Wayne Valley, which I was there last night, and one for Wayne Hills. This is not a corporate scholarship. This scholarship is made up from donations from the agents from their commission checks. And we just wanna give back to the group, back to our community that we so rightly serve. We are very proud of our Wayne community and especially proud of our school. It is with pride um, that we award our Wayne Valley, Wayne, oh. <laughs> you see, you keep doing these guys, you don't know where you are. A uh, Wayne Hill Scholarship Award to Atiya Singh. Danny Afflito Memorial Scholarship will be presented by Mr. Joseph T. Afflito, Jr. Good evening, everyone. My name is Joe Afflito, Jr. I represent the Danny Afflito Memorial Scholarship Fund. Um, Danny Afflito was my brother. Uh, he's a graduate, or was a graduate, of uh, Wayne Hills High School, uh, 19... 1987, I confused it, I graduated in 83. Uh, 1987, um, he was proud of the school, uh, he was proud to come here, he was happy to be here, had many friends, uh, made many friends and kept them for life. Um, this fund was established in 2002 uh, to attempt, uh, the fund attempted to um, provide scholarships um, in Danny's memory and honor uh, in as much as he was killed in the attacks on the 
World Trade Center on September 11, 2001. This is, um, hopefully we can do this forever. Uh, we have fundraise, uh, funds are um, supported by uh, friends and family through fundraisers. Um, been supportive over the years, it hasn't let up. Uh, the purpose and the goal, uh, obviously, in, in addition to provide, providing scholarships to Wayne Hills graduates, is to do everything in our power to keep his name alive and to make sure that no one uh, in the township of Wayne or quite frankly anywhere in this country forgets uh, what we endured on September 11, 2001. Um, having said that, we provide, um, or we're providing this year two $2,500 scholarships to a young man and a young woman that was that were selected by the scholarship committee as deserving recipients. The young woman's name is Jenny Nirapil. Did I pronounce that right? And the young gentleman's name is Michael Seidman. Thank you, Joseph. Uh, also, I know that um, Eleanor Affolito, uh, Danny's mother is here. Uh, she worked uh, with many of our students uh, and helped in our special education program. And uh, Eleanor, I want to thank you for, for being here tonight and supporting Wayne Hills High School as well. The David Fight Memorial Scholarship will be presented by Mr. Michael Shear. Good evening. My good friend and neighbor David Fight was a 1976 graduate of Wayne Valley High School. After graduating from Muhlenberg College and the University of Pennsylvania Dental School, he returned to Wayne to practice dentistry with his father. When David passed in July of 2002, his friends and wife Franny formed the David Fight Memorial Foundation to honor his memory. Our mission at the DFM is to support youth activities. David really enjoyed interacting with children, especially his own. Whether it was creating balloon animals to put his young patients at ease, sponsoring a little league team, or having a special day for our kids when we carpool, David was all about the children. Franny really wanted to be here with you tonight and asked me to congratulate all of the recipients on their well-deserved rewards. Franny and Rachel are in Indiana for college orientation. The DFM scholarship is given to a senior who plans to pursue a career in health-related field whose academic and athletic achievements mirror those of David's. Last night we presented at Wayne Valley. Tonight it gives us great pleasure to present the David Fight Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $2,500 to Sharada Desai. Thank you, Mr. Sherman. The Wayne's Lion Club, Lions Club, Edward A. Otto Memorial Scholarship will be presented by Dr. Anthony Jafina. Good evening. I'm uh, honored tonight to represent Mr. Al Ruffini, um, who is, for no better of a word, a legend, uh, not only for his 45 years of teaching in uh, this building, but also his outstanding uh, community work in Wayne. Uh, Mr. Ruffini regrets that he can't attend tonight, so on his behalf, I am presenting the following scholarship awards. The Otto Family Scholarships have been made possible by the generosity of Ken Otto in memory of his wife and his brother, both of whom gave to this community many times over. He has given the Wayne Lions Club a donation of $7,500 to be given to two worthy students at Wayne Hills. The Edward Otto Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $2,500 is given to Grace Blake. The
The Veronica Otto Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $5,000 is given to Catherine Chen. <laughs> and I'm just gonna jump in the program to your next page. And the Wyan, uh, Ly the Wayne, the Wyan. The Wyan, that's Wayne and Lions Club together. We can make that shorter in the program next year. The Wayne Lions Club Scholarship goes to a young lady that has given many hours of community service from the beach cleanups of Asbury Park to the children at the Camp for the Blind. It is with great pleasure to present the Tom Murray Basil Ricci Memorial $1,000 Scholarship to Natalia Serakova. Natalia is filming in London, and I will accept this on her behalf. Thank you, Dr. DeFina. The Gordon Johnston Memorial Fund Award from the Wayne Education Association will be presented by Mr. Edward Zambrano. On behalf of the Wayne Education Association, in memorial of Gordon Johnston, the memorial scholarship this year is presented to Mira Rathi. The Jerome A. Pinsky Scholarship, sponsored by the Wayne Rotary Club, will be presented by Mrs. Emily Klossick, who is the Wayne Rotary Scholarship Chair. Ms. Klossick. <laughs> and a retired Wayne Valley teacher, part of our family in Wayne. Uh, good evening, everyone, and good evening, illustrious students. Uh, my name is Emily Klosek, and I represent the Wayne Rotary Club, which is now celebrating its 50th anniversary. Rotary is a worldwide organization of business and professional leaders that provides humanitarian service, encourages high ethical standards in all vocations, and helps build goodwill and peace throughout the world. Tonight, we are here to present the Jerome A. Pinsky Scholarship. Jerome Pinsky was a certified public accountant from Pompton Lakes. He passed away during his presidency in the Wayne Rotary Club. In his memory, we award the scholarship for $1,000 to Julia Rimwig, who will be attending Bentley College, Massachusetts, congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you, Mrs. Closley. The Junior Women's Club of Wayne, presented by Mr. Edward Zambrano. On behalf of the Junior Women's Club of Wayne, it is my pleasure to present this scholarship to Annie Lee. Another scholarship, the Marquette Cardiovascular Scholarship, this year is awarded to Joseph Davies. Joseph wasn't able to be with us this evening. A person who was very special uh, in Wayne Hills High School. Uh, this, uh, this award was created for her, and I'd like to uh, call her husband up, but before I do, I would like to say that um, Ernie Mezzi uh, 
is part of our Wayne Hills family. He uh, works, he is the voice you hear at the football games, the basketball games, many of our sporting events. Uh, he continually follows Wayne Hills and he's very up to date and very active. And I'd like to call him up now uh, for the Marilyn Mezzi Memorial Scholarship. Ernie Mezzi. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Ernie Mezzi. And uh, I just jotted a few notes uh, before my presentation that I'd like to share with you. One of those is uh, someone once wrote, true wisdom is born out of every adversity encountered. And another thing I just read recently was if you've read the cartoon strip, uh, Funky Winker Bean, written by the cartoonist Tom Badiuk, he recently wrote, a serious illness may force one to mature quickly. Some of you in this audience uh, may know that my wife Marilyn taught here from 1986 until 2003 when she passed away. In fact, she passed away, it will be five years on Saturday. She lived with cancer for probably about half of her life. A lot of people did not know that, even here at school. In fact, when she heard of someone that was ill with cancer in the school on the faculty or, or whatever, she would usually approach that person privately to give them encouragement. Marilyn, for 27 years, lived with cancer. We had two of our own children. She might be a little bit mad if I were sharing this with you this evening because she always wanted to keep her health private. Her life should not be defined by the disease that she lived with most of her life, but rather it should be defined by hope, courage, and even humor in the face of great adversity. May she be remembered for the hope, strength, and courage that she demonstrated during her lifetime and may that legacy be passed on to tonight's recipient of the scholarship in her memory. Tonight's recipient is active in community service through her church. Three, she's a three-year member of the Sp Spanish National Honor Society, a four-year member of the Spanish Club, and in the fall will attend Stevens Institute of Technology. The Marilyn Mezzi Memorial Scholarship goes to Samantha Music. Michael J. Lofredo Scholarship will be presented by Mr. Edward Zambrano. On behalf of Mr. and Mrs. Lofredo, in memory of their son, Michael, it is my honor to present this scholarship to Kimberly Giometta. Pakenak Day 5K Scholarship will be presented by Ms. Jody Smith. Hi, I'm the event director for the second annual Pakenak Day 5K Run and Walk, uh, being hosted by the Pakenak Lake Athletic Association. Last year, we raised over $10,000 for a local school teacher battling leukemia. This year, we are dividing our proceeds among local charities and three high school seniors from Hills Valley and DePaul. 
The amount of the scholarship will be presented post-event and is based entirely on participation entry fees, donations, and sponsors. So please join us July 19th on Kilroy Field and PACMAC to support our community and the recipient of the scholarship. The criteria for the scholarship was a combination of athletic, academic, extracurricular, and community involvement. And also, the recipient has to participate in our event. Congratulations goes to Steven Mendoza. The Pines Lake Women's Club Achievement Awards will be presented by Mrs. Joan Riley. Good evening. It's my pleasure to be here tonight. The Pines Lake Women's Club engages in many worthy projects, but acknowledging and rewarding the excellence of our youth is at the top of our priority list. We are a small group of local women connected to a state federation of women's clubs. Our current state project is raising research funds for autism. We get involved in many different things. I ex extend an invitation to all interested women to join our club. I have the pleasure tonight to award our two scholarships to two most deserving graduates. Congratulations to Nisha Pandey and Amy Takahashi. Thank you, Mrs. Riley. The Riverview Garden Club of the Greater Wayne, uh, the Greater Wayne Scholarship will be as presented by Mr. Zambrano. I do have to let you know I'm not a member of all these clubs. <laughs> I don't have that kind of time. <laughs> The Riverview Garden Club Greater Wayne Scholarship this year is presented to Andrew Gross. award will be the St. Gobain Performance Plastic Scholarship and Mr. Bill Morrow, the plant manager. Okay, Mr. Morrow was um, iffy for tonight, so we'll have our favorite stand-in, <laughs> Mr. Zambrano. On behalf of St. Gobain Performance Plastics, it's my honor and pleasure to present this scholarship to Matthew Renzulli. The Stephen R. Fava Memorial Scholarship will be presented by Mr. Ronald Fava. I'm Stephen's dad. Uh, on behalf of his mom, Gloria, and his sister, Valerie, and the many friends of Stephen who have contributed uh, to this fund, uh, I'm pleased to present this, uh, these scholarships tonight. Stephen was a 2006 graduate of Wayne Hills High School. He was an honor student, National Honor Society. Uh, he was a football player, not a very good football player, he was about my size, he was on the offensive line, but a lot of heart. He was the guy when the huddle broke that ran first to the line and took his position. And that was Stevens being. Uh, he was attending the University of South Carolina, 
as a biomedical engineering major and a straight-A student there when we, he left us in February of 2007. Uh, in honor of his memory and to keep it alive, I'm very pleased to present scholarships to Sophia Yu, And to Jonathan Haas. Thank you, Mr. Fava. <laughs> Tom Mary. Oh, we did that. I'm sorry, okay. We now would like to uh, have our PTO, who works tirelessly for us in many areas. And uh, at this time, for the Wayne Council PTO Browsing Shop Academic Scholarship, we'd like to invite uh, Mrs. Karen Hershaf, the Browsing Shop Director. Karen. Thank you and good evening. First of all, I'd like to congratulate the class of 2008 and all of tonight's recipients. It is my pleasure to award four academic scholarships on behalf of the PTO Browson Shop to the following four students. Anne Carlock. <laughs> Derek Gross. Aaron Plotchnik. And Michael Youngworth. Thank you, Mrs. Hershaft. The Wayne Council PTO Commemorative Scholarship will be presented by the PTO Council President, Mrs. Joyce Duncan. Good evening. Our PTO organization is able to give out these awards due to the efforts of our hardworking members townwide, including many of you. These funds are raised primarily from our PTO Browsing Shop, our Children's Cultural Workshop classes, and from our local PTO chapters. I am proud to say that this year we are able to give out about $23,000 total in scholarships be between the both high schools. So congratulations, everyone. <laughs> the first scholarships I would like to Award are our commemorative scholarships, and the first goes to Katherine Kim. <laughs> the next commemorative, schol commemorative scholarship is for Michael Roman. I'm also happy to present our first leadership scholarship, which goes to Lauren Gross. <laughs> the next leadership scholarship is for Ryan Ward. Next, we have our community service scholarships. The first is for Kelly Fachna. Again, a community service scholarship to Samantha Gordon. We have 
accept an Educational Achievement Award for Jason Gold. And we also have an Educational Achievement Award for Matthew Georgiatos. I just want to say that we congratulate all of the students on their achievements and awards, and may the future bring you continued academic success, happiness, and the best of your dreams. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Duncan. The Wayne Council, the PTO Cultural Workshop, Visual Arts. The award will be presented by Mrs. Eileen Albanese, our PTO Council representative. On behalf of the Wayne Council of PTO's Children's Cultural Workshop, it's my pleasure tonight to present several scholarships to students pursuing educational careers in the visual arts, technology, or education fields. Our first award goes to Kaylee, Kaylee Wallace in the field of visual arts. Our second visual arts scholarship goes to Alexander Winterberg. Thank you. Our next award in the science technology field is to Ashley Moda. Also in the field of science technology, to Megan Anderley. <laughs> to a student pursuing education, the educational field, Lauren Bracco. Also in the field of education, a scholarship to Stephanie Berry. Thank you, Mrs. Albanese. We have the Wayne Education Association Scholarship presented by, and he is a member of this group, Okay, Mr. Ed Zimbrano. <clears throat> On behalf of the Wayne Education Association, it's my honor to present this scholarship to Richard Kreitner. <clears throat> the Wayne Hills PTO Scholarship will be presented by Wayne Hills PTO President, Mrs. Renee Dent. Good evening. On behalf of the PTO, we would like to extend our best wishes to you and your families for continued outstanding accomplishments in your academic work. At this time, I'd like to acknowledge the PTO selection of outstanding students. Mary DeDuke. Robert Moore. <laughs> Daniel Katz. <laughs> Brittany Rosenberg.
Kelly Zambito. Jeffrey Weisberger. Rachel Fight. Andy Levine. Melissa Riccio. David Suntuff. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Dan, and thank you to both the Wayne Hills PTO and the PTO Council of Wayne. The Wayne PBA Memorial Scholarship will be presented by our SRO, uh, Detective Chris Whittick. Thank you and good evening. On behalf of Wayne PBA Local 136, it's my pleasure to present two scholarships to two fine uh, Wayne Hills students here. Um, the grade point average for our scholarship went up to a 3.4 with a focus on community service. The first recipient goes to is Dana Beltran. And the second recipient is Derek Ridner. Thank you. Thank you, Detective Whitting. The Wayne School Nurses Award will be presented by Mr. Edward Zambrano. On behalf of the Wayne School Nurses, this year's scholarship is awarded to Elisa DiBianco. She was not able to attend this evening. We have the Wayne School Retiree Scholarship uh, presented by a very special person who uh, worked in Schuyler Colfax as a secretary for a number of years. In fact, uh, broke me in when I was the principal of, in 91, I believe. Yep, 91. She remembers, I may not, but she does. And as she did throughout her career, just a, a wonderful person. And uh, we're very proud to have her give the retiree scholarship, Mrs. Hildegard Robbins. On behalf of the Wayne retirees, which takes in all people who worked for the Wayne Board of Education and has since retired, I'm happy to present this award to Margaret Yu. Thank you, Mrs. Robbins. The WBC-TV Broadcasting Scholarship will be presented uh, to Jenna Altai. She's not here tonight, but she is the recipient of the WMBC TV Broadcasting Scholarship. This ends the community scholarship portion of our program. I would like to give a heartfelt thanks to all of our scholarship contributors and in a moment, we will start the national and state scholarship recipients. 
I'd also like to acknowledge the counselors who, my counselors who are with me this evening, Mr. Bruce Keough, Mrs. Jo <laughs> Mrs. Um, Seal de George, <laughs> Mrs. Cynthia Gorkowski, <laughs> Mrs. Joyce Savistano, and we also have Mrs. Smith, who was our freshman counselor. Now, we have some very competitive scholarships uh, where our students compete against not only those from New Jersey, but throughout the nation. So these will be our national and state scholarship recipients. Um, the National Merit Commended Students, and they are in the top 5% of over 1.4 million students taking the 2006 PSAT. So I would like to congratulate each one, beginning with Laura Amatuli. Eric Baum. Jacqueline Brophy. Ann Carlock. Rada Desai, Jonathan Haas, Catherine Kim, Leslie Nizel. Richard Kreitner, Ricky. Victoria Leach, Stephen Mendoza, Jenny Nirapil, Julia Rimwood. <laughs> Thomas Yoon. <laughs> Michael Youngworth. National Achievement Scholarship Program. Uh, this student scored in the top 5% of 140,000 uh, black Americans who took the 2006 PSAT. I'd like to congratulate Bowen Jones. National Merit Corporate Scholarship, and this is from ADP. It's sponsored by the ADP Corporation uh, for students meeting uh, the ADP criteria. And the recipient of this reward is Christina Gowdy. The 
Edward J. Blastein mm. Distinguished Scholar Program is named for Dr. Edward J. Blastein, who was the 17th president of Rutgers. He shaped Rutgers into one of America's premier institutions during his tenure. Students who are Blastein scholars rank in the top 10% of their class with verbal and math scores of 1,260 plus. Our first Blastein scholar this evening is Laura Amatuli. Jason Sasir. Catherine Chen. Shraddha Desai. Mary DeDuke. Christina Gowdy. Jonathan Haas. Katherine Kim. Annie Lee. Christopher Mazza. <laughs> Stephen Mendoza. <laughs> Robert Moore. <laughs> Andre Nexoy. Jenny Mirapol. <laughs> Rebecca Olez. <laughs> Nishi Pandy. <laughs> Julia Rimwood. Michael Seidman. <laughs> Timothy Waller. <laughs> Thomas Yoon. Michael Youngworth. <laughs> and Margaret Yu. <laughs> Thank you. The Coca-Cola Scholars, regional scholar, uh, this is a $10,000 scholarship for being the regional winner. And it will be presented to Matthew Renzulli.
Thank you. Um, at this time, I'd like to call up a teacher who was uh, probably respond one of the big players in this award. Uh, he used to be a teacher here. Now he's a vice principal at Westfield Middle School. Mr. Lehman, I see you in the back. Can you come up, please? this time, I'd like to present this award to Mr. Lehman. Um, and it says, it has been an honor and a pleasure working with you, both as a student council advisor and honors history teacher. You understand what students are about, and you do your best to build on the knowledge. Your encouragement and support has tru have truly been an inspiration for me. I am grateful to have had you be such an important part of my high school life. I am proud to designate you as my educator of distinction. Thank you, Mr. Renzulli. I have to say that you are an inspiration to your classmates, this school, your community, and me, and uh, I really am thankful. Thank you very much. We thank Mr. Lehman uh, we hear wonderful things about him in Westfield, and we wish him con keep continued success, Doug. <laughs> we will now move into the Academic Recognition Awards. And I would like to now ask Mrs. Joyce Duncan, the PTO Council President, uh, to award the Wayne Hills Valedictorian Award. Good evening. This is a very proud moment. On behalf of the Wayne Council of PTOs, it is my great pleasure and honor to present your valedictorian and salutatorian plaques tonight here this evening at Wayne Hills High School. The valedictorian plaque is being awarded to a very exceptional student, Eric Baum. <laughs> and I'm also very happy to pre present the salutatorian plaque to another very exceptional student, Jenny Nirapil. Congratulations to both of you and best wishes for your continued success. Thank you. It takes quite a combination and quite a chemistry uh, to create what we have at Wayne Hills High School. And sitting before you tonight, are some of the most remarkable young adults uh, that you would ever want to meet. And I think that we'll talk more about it at the, at the graduation, but um, I am just so impressed and so honored to be associated with this group. Uh, they are arguably one of the best senior classes that has uh, gone through Wayne Hills High School, and there is just so much talent in so many areas. And I think that now we will be talking about some of this talent and some of this character uh, as, as we move in uh, to some of our faculty awards uh, as we continue our program. Uh, the Principal's Leadership Award, which is always a very difficult decision, uh, but for just untiring thoughtfulness and, and generosity, uh, and just the person that 
really makes us all proud, makes me proud as a principal, and I'm proud of every student up here tonight, um, but someone who really distinguished himself, and uh, that is Matthew Renzulli. It's often said that whether it's character or integrity, it's doing the right thing at the right time for the right reason. And you could always rely on this person for that and for her character. We are going to uh, present this to Sharada Desai. The Humanitarian Award, once again, for a person who gives of themselves for others. Uh, she is not here tonight, but the recipient is Rachel Fight. <laughs> now for a couple people who make things happen, uh, the Patriot Spirit and Pride Award. Just people are always are in the middle are on the periphery of just about everything that goes on, and they're always there, and uh, they make a lot of very, very good things happen. And I'd like to congratulate Mary the Duke and Richard Kreitner. I'll move into uh, the awards presented by our department chairs and faculty. And I'd like to now uh, introduce our soon to be vice principal, but currently the uh, chair of health and physical education, as well as finance performing arts. And for the physical education awards, uh, Ms. Maureen Weir. Good evening, everybody. Congratulations to all the recipients tonight. Um, I'd first like to present the art, Fine Art Awards, and unfortunately, Miss Audrey Schwinn could not be here this evening. She's disappointed, but on behalf of the art department, um, I'd like to present two students who are going to pursue their education in the arts, and both of them have received scholarships to their respected universities. The first recipient, Leslie Neisel. Leslie not only um, is an artist in the painting and drawing way, but she combines her creative writing as the editor of The Lantern. Leslie. Our second recipient, Callie Wallace. Callie is the president of the National of our Art Honor Society this year, and um, Callie also won the William Patterson Art Start Award, and she'll be attending William Patterson next year. On behalf of the Health and Physical Education Department this evening, um, I have two awards, three awards actually I'd like to present. These students have a positive attitude towards health and wellness and assist the faculty in promoting and modeling a healthy lifestyle. Linda Stambouli. <laughs> and Steven Spazante. Just one more award. Um, the physical education department also recognizes a student who serves and assists the special physical education classes in skill development and positive role modeling. This year's re recipient, no other than Claire Sisko. to invite up now Ms. Judith Bailey. <laughs> Ms. 
Good evening, and congratulations also to all of our recipients tonight. Uh, I am the department chair of the Applied Technology Department, which incorporates business education, technology education, and family and consumer science. For many of our recipients this evening, they have shown dedication and enthusiasm for their subject area, uh, staying in the programs for more than one year, sometimes up to four years in a particular discipline. So without further ado, in our business education department, our award this evening goes to Tim Waller. Our Cooperative Education Award goes to Frank Burian. <laughs> Frank is not with us this evening. In Family and Consumer Science, our award, we have two awards this evening. Uh, Michael Brothers. And uh, Elisa DiBianco couldn't be with us this evening, but she's our second award winner. In addition to uh, the applied technology disciplines, um, I have the privilege of supervising the Future Teacher Academy. Uh, this is uh, a discipline in which we have students who are seriously considering a career in uh, education and have dedicated themselves and their extracurricular hours to spending time in seminars and field trips after school hours uh, to uh, pursue that interest in education. And this year we are very proud to offer our award to Michael Brothers. In technology education, uh, we have an award uh, named for one of our first industrial arts teachers here at Wayne Hills, Marion Pitt. And the Marion Pitt Award goes to two students this evening. These students have um, displayed numerous craft skills in our different classes and have uh, been with us for a variety of different areas within applied technology, which runs the gamut from uh, robotics to CAD and graphics to woodworking. So I'd like to present this evening uh, Ms. Danielle Forrest. Vinny, I'm going to screw up your last name, I know it. Vincent Romanolo. <laughs> your book also falls into the Department of Applied Technology. Uh, Mr. Ryerson could not be with us this evening. Uh, he has already uh, recognized staff members on the yearbook staff and has presented them uh, with some goodies as well. But at this time, I would like to uh, award some certificates to the following editors. Dana Beltran. <laughs> Matthew Renzulli. and Michael Youngworth. <laughs> For those of you that have not seen it, it's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. At this time, um, Mr. Jim Hookstraight will be up to present the award for TV production. I'm going to change things up a little bit here tonight, uh, break from the tradition of just announcing names and handing things out. So 
without further ado, I come here tonight to honor the three individuals who have raised the bar of expectations and professionalism to a height that I never dreamed possible in television. As I call up each individual, and I know they know who they are, I would ask each one to remain standing up here. Honoree number one, cut number one, Lee. A high kick by Shirell, fielded by Marson. About the 11, Marson looking for blockers. Takes across the 25 to the 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 45, 40, 30 to the 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Patriots. An 89 yard return by Crawford Marson for a touchdown. As the Patriots become 13 to 7. In his very first day as a freshman, I remember discussing the video club as I always do. And I remember his smile going from ear to ear. And I wasn't even allowed to finish talking, and he had his hand raised to volunteer. Volunteer he did, and when he spoke to me towards the end of his freshman year about how discouraged he was with our current crop of seniors that year, I said, don't worry, you'll get your chance to raise the bar next year. The raise that he did, his professionalism and work, at, work ethic are now legendary. Mike Quick from Madison Square Garden Network has told me on more than one occasion that he has a special talent with nothing but greatness ahead of him. I don't know what we're going to do without him next year. He's going to Syracuse in the fall to study broadcasting at Newhouse. He's one in a million, and he's David Suntuck. Cut number two, Lee. tonight is not Coach Olson, it's actually Brian Rossman, the gentleman who was behind the actions of me that evening. This guy reminds me a lot of myself. We're both techies, we love to tinker. Last year's graduation is a prime example of how professional this guy is. At three o'clock, I was called down to Mr. Dorflinger's office and told that the storms were on their way. So it was decided that we needed to bring our whole setup, which was already set up at the football field back inside. With two hours till commencement, we scrambled not only to get it set up inside, but run a simulcast in this very room. None of that would have been possible if I didn't have the help of honoree number two. His camera work on the sidelines will also be difficult to replace, and even though Coach Olson did scare the living daylights out of him that day, and he followed him around on the sidelines with a wireless mic that night, um, it couldn't have come out any better. He has been a class act behind the scenes and would be also very difficult to replace. He is heading to my alma mater, Montclair State, in the fall to study broadcasting and the development of better boom poles. He is Brian Rossman. <laughs> Honoree number three. Cut three, Lee. Four wide receiver, set fly back to pass. Throws a ball, and it's gonna be intercepted by Rodney Dries. Trees has a cakewalk into the end zone, and Trees brings it in for the touchdown. What a turn of events, folks. Fly over through Dorch, and Trees put a tango into the end zone. Oh my goodness, folks. That's the nail in the coffin. And I hope I get this right, Andrew. In baseball, a 5 tool player is someone who can hit for power, average, run, catch, and throw. Well, this guy has been my 5 tool player. He can do it all. You name it, he excels from announcing, to editing, to camera, to engineering, to acting professionally. This guy stands alone in a very small group of maybe one other student in my seven years here. He may just be the most well-rounded television student I've ever taught. He is heading off to the Ford School at Ithaca to study broadcasting as well, and will be sorely missed. His efforts in many different roles will be used as teaching tools for future TV students. I can't say enough good things when it comes to this guy except to say that Andrew Gallo is honor number, honoree number three. <laughs> These three gentlemen have been the leaders in this club and I tried tonight to come up with a, a list of the number of events that we've taped football games. It's no secret that the football team has won uh, 40 games in a row. They never called a loss. They called 40 consecutive victories. And I can't thank them enough. Good luck next fall. Make me proud.
Next, we'd like to introduce Mrs. Angela Mancinelli, who will present the English Department Awards. Good evening. Congratulations to everyone. The English Department yearly gives an award to an outstanding English student. It is the Fred P. Sharkey Award, named for a much beloved teacher uh, and department chair here at Wayne Hills. The award this year goes to Catherine Chen. past six years, our students uh, from 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th graders, honor students have participated in a national competition called Wordmaster Challenge. The Wordmaster Challenge asks students to read either a piece of fiction, a poem, a piece of nonfiction. They read it cold, answer questions. The test is scored, the results sent into the national committee. We have, for the past six years, ended up in the top 20 schools in the nation. This year, our sophomores were number one, but enough about them. Um, the students who have really scored well for the past four years are Ann Carlock, and Jonathan Haas. <laughs> Our literary magazine is truly beautiful. Uh, I'm sure that most of you have seen it, and there's a lot of hard work on the part of Mr. Scott Summers, who cannot be here tonight, and his staff. The award for Lantern Magazine goes to the multi-talented Leslie Neisel. <laughs> and now I'd like to present Mr. Joseph Riley. Good evening, everybody. <coughs> Good evening. My name is Joseph Riley. I teach English as a second language here at Wayne Hills, uh, which unfortunately precludes me from having any of these wonderful students in my classes. Uh, the recipient of tonight's award is not able to be here. I'd just like to announce her name, which is Anna Dong. She is from China. And in lieu of the speech I was going to say about Anna, I'd like to offer my congratulations to all the parents here for doing obviously an outstanding job because even though I don't know many of you and I don't know many of the students up here personally, the ones I do know are truly wonderful human beings. With that, I will say good night. <laughs> With that, I will not say good night. <laughs> I will introduce Dawn Auerbach, head of the math department. Congratulations to all of you tonight, and congratulations to all the family members who are here. You should feel very proud as well. For the math department, we have a difficult challenge in choosing a student who we feel exemplifies what mathematics really is. And we have many top-notch students, but the person that we have selected this year is someone who not only has excelled in all the mathematics courses she has taken, but has something very special in that she always wants to know why and not just how. And for that reason, we have selected Jenny Nirapal. <laughs> we also have mathematics competitions that are on the national level that students have participated in for the past four years. The next award goes to the senior who has scored the highest possible points within our group and that person is Tommy Yoon. <laughs> and
And the last award I have tonight is for our Computer Science Award. And this is going to someone who has excelled in every programming challenge he has been faced with. His computer science teachers, plural, have nothing but positive praise for this individual. So congratulations to Vladimir Samokin. <laughs> Next, I'd like to introduce Mr. Matt Paterno. I'm not Matt Paterno, I'm Kara Cefali, the choir teacher here, thank you. Good evening, this year's recipient for the Choral Award is a well-rounded music student. She's been in choir since the eighth grade at Schuyler and has been a member of our Wayne Hills concert band and marching band for four years as well. She has shown true dedication, especially when juggling her full schedule. In choir, this year's recipient has shown versatility singing all three female voice parts at one time or another, soprano one, soprano two, and alto, and has even helped out with the male tenor part on occasion. Her musical knowledge is vast, and she always challenges herself, and sometimes even me, with in-depth questions. The student has attended just about every choir event in and outside of school, such as concerts, community functions, and all the programs we sing at throughout the year, demonstrating her true love of singing and her devotion to the choir. As vice president of the chamber choir this year, she has served as a positive role model and cheerleader for the choir, always encouraging them and helping them to do their best. The student will be greatly missed next year. I wish her more musical memories in her spare time while she works hard at being a math major. I'm proud to present this year's choral award to Laura Amatuli. And now we're gonna skip just for a minute and go to our Margaret Erdman Theater Award. This year's recipient has been involved in the Wayne Hills Theater Program for all four years of his high school career. I remember when he started the theater program in his freshman year, he really wowed everyone with his talent at such a young age. I personally had the pleasure of directing him in the musicals Footloose and The Wizard of Oz, where he again continued to entertain and demonstrate his acting capabilities. During his senior year, the student's talent was again showcased in the musical Cinderella and in the play Arsenic and Old Lace, during which he gave a stellar performance as the lead character. I have enjoyed watching him grow as an actor and as a young adult, and I wish him well in the years ahead. I know he will continue to impress his audiences with his incredible talent. Congratulations to this year's Margaret Erdman Award recipient, Ryan Ward. And now I'd like to introduce Mr. Matt Paterno. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The first award I present this evening is the Theater Arts Technology Award. As the auditorium coordinator this year, I have had the opportunity to recognize one student's amazing contributions to our school and community through their involvement in the technical end of our lighting and sound equipment. This student developed a tremendous knowledge of the new lighting and sound systems and spent a great deal of time and effort teaching me and a lot of other students how to use it. He served as the lighting and technical director for many school functions and helped out whenever necessary. I am pleased and proud to recognize for outstanding achievements in the theater technical arts, Noriel Valdez. Next is our Instrumental Music Achievement Award. It gives me great pleasure tonight to recognize a wonderfully talented young man whose achievements in instrumental music have not only brought honor to him, but to our school, our community, and our band as well. He has earned positions in concert bands at the area band level, and his compositions have been performed at school and community events. He has been a featured soloist with our symphonic band, our wind ensemble, and our jazz band, and has taught many younger members of our band how to play. He will certainly make a fine music educator, businessman, and performer. And I am proud this year to present our Instrumental Music Achievement Award to Omar Arnock. Watch for his name in lights someday. 
Our Ben Brewster Senior Scholarship. Each year, our Ben Brewster organization is proud to recognize one student for their tireless effort and dedication. This year's recipient is being recognized for the positive effect he had on so many other band members and for his musical achievements. His enthusiasm and upbeat manner made people want to work with him and for him. He led by example and dropped back to pick up anyone who had fallen behind. He was always willing to stand up for what he believed in and work for what he wanted. On behalf of our Van Booster organization, I am proud to present their 2008 Senior Scholarship to Ryan Ward. Our next award is our Semper Fidelis Award, and this award we are allowed to give out by the United States Marine Corps. There's a young man here tonight who exemplifies the Marine Corps' motto, Semper Fidelis, which means always faithful. He also exemplifies their ideals of leadership, dependability, bearing, justice, knowledge, judgment, and integrity. He has consistently carried himself with class and acted as the most outstanding example of everything our organization stands for. He has meant a great deal to our organization and I'm proud to present this year's Semper Fidelis Award on behalf of the United States Marine Corps to Derek Gross. Our John Philip Sousa Award is the highest award that our band gives out, and John Philip Sousa is a name that brings to mind great concerts and famous bands the world over. His efforts to promote concert bands and their music made possible the ensembles our students perform in today. The John Philip Sousa Award is given nationally to the band member that has done the most for their school band program during their high school career. In our school, the greatest part of this award is that it is voted on by the 177 students in our program. They are charged with choosing the student that they feel has done the most for our band program during their time here. On behalf of our students and in our band, I take great pride in presenting their 2008 John Philip Sousa Award to Allison Langer. Ali, unfortunately, couldn't be here with us tonight. She's at a college uh, orientation. Lastly, I thank you for your patience. Tonight, we're very proud to give out an award, but we're very sad for the reason that we have to give it out. For the first time tonight, we're presenting the J. Chuck Sastry Memorial Scholarship. Our, on July 15th of last year, our friend and colleague Chuck Sastry passed away, leaving a giant void in the lives of everyone who knew him. He was many things to many people, but above all, he was caring and compassionate as a person. We have established the J. Chuck Sastry Memorial Scholarship to both keep his memory alive and honor a student who is a great deal like him. The J. Chuck Sastry Memorial Scholarship is awarded in recognition of the passion, dedication, and selfless devotion to our music program. Uh, this year it goes to a student who is emulated the qualities that so much personified Chuck, and he would be very, very proud of that. We're also proud tonight to have his mother, Marge Smith, with us, and we know how much this means to her. This year, we're very proud to present our first annual Chuck Sastry Memorial Scholarship to Christina Gowdy. I'd now like to turn it over to Mr. Ed Zambrano. Mask and Gavel handles the uh, morning announcements throughout Wayne Hills High School, and the recipient this year who cannot be here this evening is Jenna Altai. If you wish to hear Jenna's announcements, all you would need to do in the community is open up your windows at about 7.55 <laughs> in the morning. Thank you. Science Award with Dr. Anthony DeFina. Okay, uh, I'm back. We're going to start with a clip from Bill Nye. Lee, run that clip. Oh, 
come on, that was funny. There was no clip. Uh, where's Mr. George when I need him? No, that was, I, Mr. Hookstreet, that was a, a great presentation. We're gonna do that next year in science. Really great. This year, you have to laugh a little bit. Come on, it's late. This year, the recipient of the Science Award is an outstanding student who has not only excelled academically in science, but also represented Wayne Hills at the Governor's School for Science and the Science Scholars Academy. She has no doubt outstanding achievements and character, but most of all, she has a real exothermic smile and an adaptive helping hand that's always, when, always there when needed. O the often quoted JFK phrase uh, from his inaugural address uh, can be modified a little bit to describe this recipient. And it goes something like, ask not what others can do for you, but what you can do for us. We congratulate her and wish her well as she plans to achieve an MD through a seven-year honors program at TCNJ. Now, you have to bear with me just a little bit. Every time I try to say something or write something that I think might be a little funny, I get that kind of a reaction. <laughs> and coming from Brooklyn and living in New York, sometimes when I come to northern New Jersey, I'm a little bit language challenged. And when I asked her where she was going, and she said TCNJ, my Brooklyn brain said, she said TCBY. And I couldn't figure out how she was gonna convert low-fat chocolate yogurt into a medical degree. But if anybody could, it could be Jenny Naripple. One more, one more. We're gonna jump in the program to activities and clubs and I'm gonna take on Mr. Ruffini's hat again uh, and award the Ecology Club Award. This is the Cary Arthur Memorial Scholarship sponsored by the Wayne Lions Club or the Wyans, which is what it will be known as after tonight. This year the award goes to one of the finest natural ecologists Mr. Ruffini has recognized and known. He considers her as a representative of the hope and leadership needed for mankind's and our planet's future. It is with great pleasure to present the Ecology Award, which is a $1,000 scholarship to Annie Lee. Let's see. Okay, and at this time I'd like to present Mr. Ben Grieco, Chairman of the World Studies and Foreign Languages. Good evening, uh, Dr. Defina is always a tough act to follow. Uh, I'm here to present the awards for World Languages and for Social Studies. And uh, we'll start off with the first one, which is French. The recipient of the World Language Award is Brittany Rosenberg. <laughs> Our next award is in Latin. There are two recipients. The first recipient is Laura Amatuli. And our second recipient is Anne Carlock. <laughs> our next awards are in Italian. We have two of those also. The first Italian award goes to Elisa DiBianco. <laughs> Elisa is not here. Our second award goes to Teresa Pignatello. Our final award in world languages, we have three of those. The first recipient is Danielle Garcia. Our 
Our next uh, recipient in Spanish is Andre Nexor. Our third recipient is Christopher Massa. We also give an award for uh, Outstanding Achievement in World Languages, and the recipient this year is Steven Mendoza. As the Chairman of uh, World Studies, I also get to do the uh, Social Studies or History Awards, and our first recipient for the Social Science Award is Andra Andre Nexo. <laughs> and our last award is given to Richard Kreitner for the Political Science Award. And at this time, it's my pleasure to uh, present or turn this over, I guess, to Mr. Bruce Keel. Good evening. Mr. Ascalise, our athletic director, was not able to attend this evening, but he sends his congratulations to all the award winners. The athletic award each year is given by Wayne, the Wayne Hills coaching staff and the administration to a student athlete who has given either his or her commitment over a four-year period to our athletic programs at Wayne Hills and has earned recognition at the league, at the county, and at the state levels. And this year's award winner is Jeremiah Kale. <laughs> the New Jersey State Interscholastic Athletic Association Awards are given each year to one male and one female student athlete who embodies the sportsmanship ideals and the athletic accomplishments of a strong student in earning scholarship and scholastic achievement of being in the top 10% of their graduating class as promoted by this state organization during their four years at Wayne Hills. This year's award winners are Jenny Nirapil and Timothy Waller. The Wendy's Heisman Awards are given to a senior student athlete. Since 1994, more than 150,000 students have been so recognized for this most prestigious high school honor signifying excellence and determination in academics, athletics, and community school involvement. This year's award winner is Marina Alex. Good evening. I'm very proud to be here this evening to represent the Patriots Club. 
I am pleased to announce the winners of the 2008 Wayne Hills Patriots Club Scholarships. As an organization that supports Wayne Hills Athletics, we recognize your dedication to the sports you have played. Your commitment to athletics is applauded, and we wish you the very best of the luck in your future endeavors. Okay, our first scholarship goes to Robert Direnzio. Ryan Dubin. <laughs> Joseph Evans. <laughs> Michael G. and Papa. Sabrina Heskins. <laughs> Jeremiah Kale. Kale. <laughs> Erica Kunzig. Chris Lala. <laughs> Guess I should have mentioned there's 12 of them. <laughs> Rebecca Olis. Ivana Semelenko. <laughs> Stephen Pizzante. Linda Stambouli. Congratulations, best of luck. Mrs. McLean could not be here this evening. Um, I am pleased to present the following Future Business Leaders of America Awards. The following young ladies have been a vital part of making the Wayne Hills High School FBLA a state and nationally known organization. They have unselfishly worked diligently to have a sophomore member elected as the New Jersey FBLA State Secretary. They work tirelessly on forms and fundraising to help other members compete at the national level. They were always an encouraging force to the younger members, and they were great role models. Sheena is quiet but focused, Annie is outspoken and organized, and Margaret is diligent, poised, and a born leader. It is more than a privilege to give the FBLA awards to Sheena Maida. <laughs> Annie Lee. and Margaret Yu. Thank you. Mrs. Tripp and Mrs. Ademi, the senior class advisors, were unable to be here with us this evening. But the Senior Class Leadership Award is awarded to Matthew Ranzulli.
the Student Dance Association awards will be given out by Mrs. Christina Kindler. Following young ladies have been instrumental in putting together a dance show that will be remembered by the students at Wayne Hills High School on the class of 2008 forever. They worked tirelessly to make sure that this show would be one in the memory books of SDA. As one of their advisors, I had the privilege to work with these young ladies who displayed intelligence, talents, humor, character, and Donald Trump leadership skills. These traits made all the difference when they were faced with obstacles. With heartfelt appreciation and pleasure, I award the following young, young ladies a Student Dance Association Scholarship Award. Brittany Tannis. <laughs> Annie Lee. <laughs> Catherine Kim. Wendy Kuckerman. <laughs> Candice Margiata. <laughs> Jackie Brophy. <laughs> Samantha Music. and Daniel Cafati. I'd like to now call up Mr. Joseph Terso. Good evening. I'm the student council advisor here at Wayne Hills, and it is my honor to uh, award this year's student council leadership award to Ricky Kreitner. Also, each year we award five scholarships, I'm sorry, six scholarships uh, to the officers of student council. And this year's recipients are President Ricky Kreitner, <laughs> Kelly Bachner, <laughs> Dan Katz, Rachel Puchkoff, <laughs> Sophia Yu, <laughs> and Ryan Ward. Congratulations, seniors. On behalf of Mrs. Laura Allegri, the advisor for National Honor Society, I would like to present the Leadership and Service Award for National Honor Society to Jenny Nirapol.
We will now have the Interact Club Award with Mrs. Joyce Savistano. I know this isn't in your program, so you might be thinking we're, we've gone wrong, but somehow or another, even though I work in the guidance office and the guidance office put this booklet together, I got left out. But uh, the Interact Club is a volunteer service organization and we're sponsored by the Rotary Club. Service is an important part of any community and our awardees have succeeded in providing our school community with opportunities to serve our neighbors. Some of the activities they led wa were a volleyball tournament that has raised in three years over $3,000 for the gift of life. The March of Dimes, March for Babies, a bowl-a-thon fundraiser for the Foundation for the Handicapped, along with numerous hands-on activities in the community. These students have touched and enriched many lives, and I am confident that they will continue to do so after they leave Wayne Hills. I would like to recognize and thank from the bottom of my heart, Tarada Desai, <laughs> Mary DeDuke, Jenny Mirapil. And our next, next presenter, Miss Emily Klosik from the Wayne Rotary. On behalf of the Wayne Rotary Club, I am happy to present the Wayne Rotary Interact Club Scholarship to a very deserving student who not only has dedicated so much of her time helping others in so many ways, but also was able to maintain a 4.587 GPA during her four years at Wayne Hills. Congratulations from all of us, Jenny Mirapel. On behalf of Mrs. Donna Del Moro, I'd like to present the Patriot Press Awards to Catherine Chen. Yes. And Eric Baum. This, the next award is for someone who has worked with us for the last four years. Our Guidance Office Assistant Scholarship will be given to Ashley Campbell. <laughs> Mrs. Virginia Chiller was unable to be with us this evening. However, her Socialized Club Award will be given to Kelly Grieco, who was also unable to be with us. Sometimes you just have to ad lib. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> we try to do this in two hours, and I think we're very close. We started a few minutes after seven. Uh, so we're proud of that. I guess this, a number of years ago, this took probably about three and a half hours with a long intermission. Uh, so I, first of all, I want, first and foremost, I want to thank uh, almost a, a hundred of our seniors uh, who sat very patiently. Uh, under some pretty warm lights and were very respectful. And I think that that pretty much reflects the type of class uh, that this is. So 
seniors. Thank you. And just to be recognized, I think is uh, just so important, and I hope that everyone here that, uh, that was re recognized know, uh, knows that uh, you touched someone's life, you probably inspired some of your teachers, some of us, uh, some of the community people, and for that I congratulate you and you are the students that make it all worth it for all of us. You will be out and you will be our ambassadors of good. You will go out and you will carry Wayne Hills with you during your many achievements and many of your accomplishments. And on behalf of your teachers and the administration and everyone, uh, I'd like to congratulate and thank you We've had people here that have distinguished themselves as scholars, leaders, community contributors, artists, musicians, performers, athletes. And I want to say that your recognition validates your stature as the most talented and promising students in Wayne Hills High School. Congratulations. I would like to remind you, uh, this will conclude our program. Uh, please join us for refreshments in the Commons. And again, thank you all for a wonderful night.